Welcome everyone, let's unbox the iPhone 14 Pro Max Deep Purple. Uh, this was sold out everywhere in the Apple stores, a very popular phone. However, you know, some guy in the street had one, so let's unbox it. So, first of all, we do have these pull tabs here. I'm gonna pull these off. And do let me know in the comment section if you are considering the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which model are you gonna buy? I'm recording this video on my iPhone 14 Pro small version uh, when i used the 13 pro max the uh the 14 pro max was just way too big but maybe you never know i may be switching so here it is the phone itself in all of its glory this is the deep purple but i'm looking at the hdr video i'm not sure if, if you can even see the color correctly it looks black in my preview uh it does actually look purple in person but quite dark let's remove this protective film and there is the phone itself so look at that <laughs> okay the size i have not forgotten about it's not even that it's so wide it's just the thickness because of how thick it is it's actually quite hard to hold I mean, look at that i'm barely able to grip and i'm a six foot guy quite large hands uh, imagine you have small hands oh good luck to you but, uh, let's turn this guy on there we go i wonder how long this has been stored in probably not that long to be fair but I do love how this phone looks with the camera and, you know, the uh, back. Compared to the 14 Pro, the 14 Pro just looks like a big camera. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of its looks, but the Dynamic Island, I thought I didn't like it at first. I actually really like it. Okay, so in the box, we have the charger. Really weird how they put that charger in. They didn't put it incorrectly, but, you know, well, did you know the store I bought it from? I can't return it now. I've already unboxed it, so... That's a me problem. And of course, UK, we are special, so we get the SIM ejector tool. Seems like Apple reverted, because they used to give you this SIM ejector. And you can see this part is like... I don't even know what Apple were thinking. I mean, they weren't thinking. Oh, they're thinking about profits. Okay, so the phone itself, I really want to quickly compare this to my case. So even with the case on my phone 14 Pro regular, this is actually wider, which is surprising. But, um, yeah, I must say it does look a lot more sleek compared to the regular 14 Pro. And the, the main reason why is because you have a lot more space here uh, compared to the 14 Pro. Because, of course, the Dynamic Island is going to be the same size regardless of the model. And, of course, the camera is going to look smaller compared to the rest of the body. So, I personally like how this, you know, this looks more. But again, the thickness, I don't know how people use these devices, okay? iPhone 13 Pro Max, the case I used, didn't protect the side, so I could grip it like this, and I was still struggling. So you know what? I'm not going to hate, but shout out to you if you do use this phone. I mean, look at this. Can't even, <laughs> I can barely reach anywhere. Uh, I guess if you're doing a ton of social media, ton of video watching, this is the phone. But uh, in my personal case, you know, I'm uh, watching YouTube on my iPads. Spending most of my time on my MacBook, you know, every now and then I'll use social media on the 14 Pro. But, you know, I could, I could use the iPhone 12 mini, no problem. So I think that says a lot about me as a person. I don't really care that much. Man, I just, the more I look at this thing, I'm like, you know what, man, I could, I could just upgrade. I was going to notice. It looks really good. Um, if you're going to buy this phone, I think you're going to be uh, uh, very happy. So let's enter in the Wi-Fi network in here. Look how I remember this complex password. I am um, special abilities, not not that type of special. Anyway, so this is the 128 gig deep purple. I was kind of lucky that um, this was even in stock because the 256 gig, 512 gig were all out of stock. There was only a terabyte model other than this, so I was probably like one of the last people who I got this iPhone for went out of stock. So I ain't complaining. Uh, Amazon scammed me with this iphone right the delivery driver stole my iphone until uh I, w I won't give my little finger out because obviously the delivery driver isn't watching but um a bath of amazon pre-order you know september 9th it's currently almost november right that's crazy and uh, yeah delivery driver stills my iphone 14 pro max so very kind let's take a look at the face id boom <laughs> look at this long hair Position of face, oh, okay, whatever. Face ID is like, hair's too long, sorry. 
to do that another day. Okay, I mean, I'm setting up this guy. I'm probably gonna have to do everything again soon, so. Yeah, I just wanna check what the software is on. I'm curious about this. And oh, the more I look at this phone, the more I'm like, I want a key. Oh. It's annoying. I'm gonna have to keep this phone because again, I can't return it after I've opened the box because how strict this company is. And 16.0.1, so the original iOS 16.0 had a flaw where if you transfer data, you would get a black screen and you couldn't send iMessages or receive them. So they had to release a fix very quickly for that one. It's not like Apple to release software where you can't even use the, the phone, but um, they did. Phone though, I mean, the only way I could use this is without a case. And I know how I am without a case. Um, if, you, if you've ever thought about using a phone without the case, it, it, I mean, you, you could get away with it, but I just like my phone to be perfect condition. And um, yeah, when you use a case, without a case even, scratches everywhere. My case didn't protect the sides, and I was still getting a ton of scratches on the side. And you may not care about that stuff, but I do. I just I want to look at my phone. I want it to look perfect. And um, yeah, of course, it's not going to look perfect. So if I just grip this phone like I usually would, I can, I can just about reach the top. So if I wanted to switch, okay, that's that's possible. Six foot, and I can, I can't even do it half the time. So reachability is kind of a crutch. But the flashlight, huh? Why is the flashlight not working? I imagine they sold me a forty iPhone. That'd be funny. Let's go back to London. Let's test out the flash. Okay. Of course, they make it complex. Let's see, was I sold a faulty boy? No, the flash works. Okay, hopefully I didn't hurt anyone's eyes. There we go. So, seems like I, <laughs> the iOS 16 software, the flash is greyed out for some reason. How cool is that? Um, yeah, this phone really looks incredible. Let me get a another iPhone here, iPhone 14 Plus. I mean, I don't know, the camera just looks small in the 14 Plus compared to the 14 Pro Max. And that, that purple just looks so good. Hopefully the uh, the regular iPhone 14 Pro can put the justice how good the phone looks. I will be honest though, the Google Pixel 7 Pro just looks so much better. But, but it's Android, so. Nothing against Android, it's just, you know. It's just, it's just not the same as the iPhone, right? The processors on an Android phone are years behind. The iPhone, this Google Pixel 7 Pro, if you're wondering, has the same speed as the A11 chip, which released in, you ready for this? 2017. So a five-year-old processor. Of course, this Google isn't really meant for that. They have this insane AI capability that the iPhone does not have, but I like my raw performance. I like gaming, and you're not gonna be gaming on this phone. Productivity, yeah, Google Pixel 7 Pro is great. But this guy right here, this is, this is the best around, right? You get the best, you know, social media, camera performance, because everything is optimized for this guy right here. Um, you're going to get the best gaming performance, probably even better than the gaming phones, because the gaming phones use a processor equivalent to the A13. And even with a cooler fan, I'm not sure if you're going to get A16 performance. Uh, this right now is, I think, the fastest phone if you want to play all of the graphically intensive games like Genshin Impact. I wonder, it feels very weird. 120 hertz, it doesn't feel like 120, because I have 60 on my 14 Pro. Let's test this. Go to accessibility, motion, I limit the frame rate. Oh, my eyes are hurting. Okay, that was 120 hertz. Oh, which is great, because I have I set this phone here to 60 hertz, so now I'm going to have to set it to 120 hertz. You see, Apple, they're very smart. They are very smart. You have to sign in with your Apple ID to use these third-party apps. Which is interesting. So now, I've seen 120 hertz. I'm not going to be able to go back. My eyes have been permanently scarred, so... Let's take a look at the iPhone 14 Plus. Let's see. Oh my god. This this actually looks so laggy. The, Apple does this stuff intentionally, right? They, they make you look at these pro iPhones so you can't go back to a regular one. I mean, do you need all this performance? I mean... I'm gonna say no. The cameras are so much better on this guy. You have the 2x without losing quality. That's a big one. Look at this. I can do a 2x myself. And there's no quality loss, which is crazy. I really like that. 
and then of course you have the telephoto camera but the problem is with these phones if i record at 1x it's not switching the camera lens right that's the main issue i have on the google you can actually switch huh okay so when you're recording you can actually switch to the ultra wide here but the telephoto is i'm confident that is not switching the camera let's find out really my brain may need a software update let's go to 4k 60 on it okay i think it's resolution limited yeah look at that when it's 4k it's switching the camera lens you see that switching the lens so if i was to record at 1x can i go to 0.5 yeah, that's the problem with the iPhones. You can on Google, you can go to any camera at any time. It seems like it is limited to the camera sensor you're using at 4K. Hopefully they do fix that with a new iPhone iteration. Uh, portrait mode here, cool. We have cinematic mode, but I like recording at 4K 60 and there is no option, uh, which is a bit disappointing. But overall, I think if you can somehow endure the last large size that's what she said you have a great phone right here but um in my personal experience from using the largest phones uh, ever since the 12 pro max with this boxy design the pro max is just it's too hard to hold it, I, I once dropped my phone at, last time i dropped an iphone it was like years and years and years ago okay obviously i had the you know protection so i was fine but the last time I dropped my phone was the iPhone 5S back in like 2014, no, 2014, 2015, 2016. So that really just shows you, you know, I'm, I'm not really dropping my devices. I would have 5S, I had a case on, so I was okay. Um, I'd probably drop this phone. That's just, uh, I know myself very well. And um, yeah, mainly because it's too large. With my iPhone 14 Pro, I have a case on. Even with the case, it's thinner than this. It is the perfect experience and really the width i mean okay so it, you could probably get away with the width but the height yeah people say reachability but when you use reachability in apps such as discord etc actually taps the screen right and obviously that's an issue because if you tap the screen it may go to a different menu so then you can't use your reachability correctly so let me know your thoughts on this iphone in the comments and i can't look at 60 hertz again so i'm gonna so on 120 hertz on my iPhone 14 Pro. I will say that the battery life on the 14 Pro was incredible. Um, I had it since yesterday. And today it was at 50, 45%. That is incredible battery life. Uh, with the 14 Pro Max, you're gonna that's, that's going to be taken to the next level. Uh, I did only buy 128 gig though. I said only. <laughs> I, mean, I was planning on selling this in a couple of weeks. If you want to buy, let me know in the comments. I'll give you a nice deal. I get good views that is but um yeah so with that being said let me know if you're actually going to buy this phone or you're just watching because you're you're poor and <laughs> with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later let's find on i'm tempted but this is a deal breaker i have the 14 pro i'm gonna i'm gonna stick to the 14 pro i'm not gonna play around <laughs> bye bye